Luke, welcome back. Lovely to see you again. You've brought tons of stuff here uh, that you use to make shields for us. So do you want to just start from the, looks like the raw materials and things. There's a lot goes into it, so. Start with the, the wood that makes the shield itself. So um, historically, linden or lime wood is, is referred to quite often, but when you look at the fines, it accounts for very, very few of the, the fines that we actually so, have so, existing. So lime wood is sort of aspirational, and, and yeah, the I mean, best knights, knights the best warriors would have it. Yeah, it's the kind of the best that you could aim, aim to hope for, but by no means the most common. Um, so you had the uh, the boards together around about half an inch thick in the center, and these were literally butted together side by side, glued together with uh, sometimes cheese glue or just made, high glue. Made from cheese? From cheese, from milk and uh, quicklime, basically. All so right. it, once the reaction takes place, it's almost like a, a latexy, rubber-like glue, so, so quite flexible. Right, so there's some flex in this. It's a yeah. natural material. Yeah, you don't want it to be brittle at all. It gets hit, it's going to shatter. It's completely pointless for a shield. So we've got the wood. That's the base of it. This is a kind of Hessian material, loose weave. So how, how would that be used? So once this is placed on top of the shield, it's filled with glue. The gaps in between the loose weave are going to fill, and it actually sort of acts like a natural fiberglass. Oh, that's interesting. So a kind of modern material like fiberglass, which is strands of glass in a resin, this is effectively an ancient fiberglass yeah. with he hessian or hemp or whatever it might be, or linen or flax, I guess, and that cheese glue combining forces, as it were, on yeah. the surface. The, the strands and the loose weave are going to add that strength, so you can pull and twist and push it in various different directions and it's not going to fracture. But it's not making it rigid, though. It's still no. having flexibility. Okay. Exactly. Um, and then on top of that, you're going to have a, a closer weave, a, a tighter knit, again, a linen and natural material. And this will presumably create a slightly smoother surface? Yeah, for... a nicer finish right. to okay. look a little bit posh. Right, OK. Um, a lot of it we know is about appearance. Um, the, some finds we have, there is paint literally directly onto the boards, but we don't know whether that's because they were just for display or whether they're actually used. It doesn't make sense to me to have just plain boards. Using all of the combinations, it's, it's going to make it a lot stronger. But I presume there were cost benefits to yeah. missing out on some of these elements. If you yeah, just wanted certainly. it, the wall of your hall, you just have a painted wood. But if you actually want it to save your life, you have it made properly. Yeah, exactly as we do today. So, is this steel? This looks like steel. Um, today it is because it's almost impossible to get iron, but historically these would have just been made out of iron. This is slap bang in the middle of the Iron Age. It's before right. steel true um, comes into availability. So um, you start off with a, a sheet of, of uh, iron or steel as this is, um, and then this is heating up red hot and you're literally beating this in a, a former ah, so uh, just a sort dish. Of, so you make a dish out of wood or something like that yep. or the end of a tree trunk and then you heat it up. Whack, whack, whack. Beat straight down the centre just to draw that into that bowl shape, which is then going to protect your fist, your then hand kind in the centre. Yeah, so it's sort of the size of a fist. Exactly, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, the next stage with that is to then uh, do what's called planishing. So you beat it all together, you smooth out the surface, you get it looking nice and pretty so it's ready to go on your shield, but also that process is strengthening the material. It's compressing all the material together, making it much right. denser, much stronger. And this is the thing that's going to protect your hand yes. when, we, when we have a look at the shield. Yep. You've got one here you've made earlier. I do, yes. <laughs> wow. That's, all the individual bits seem quite light, but combining it all together, that's quite a hefty hefty piece of kit. Yeah, they have to be a, a solid construction anyway, you know, you're, hmm. you're putting your life in, into this thing. So you're relying on it to do a job. It, it is heavy when you combine all those things together, but it's not overly heavy. It doesn't need to be usable. Yeah, you, you'd feel it in your shoulder if you're yep. using it for any length of time. And, and it, you could, you know, you can use it in all sorts of different ways. I presume you can punch with it. And yeah, there's, the there's no reason to say that you couldn't. Um, we know very little about how they were actually used, uh, just apart from the formations and whatnot. We don't know one on one how they were used. Right. Um, but, but this, so this is the central bit, and this really just protects your hand. Yes. Yeah. So all of this round here. You, what about on the edge here? We got sort of strengthening on the yep. edge. So this is is raw hide. Um, again, it's another leather product. Um, when you use wet, when you soak it, you see it's quite stretchy, quite malleable, quite flexible. So this is drawn across wet. Um, and then when it dries, it becomes very strong, very tough, quite resistant to bending, and it just brings everything in. It shrinks as it dries, which means it brings everything in tighter, brings it all in exactly like a, uh, a skin of a drum, basically. So it's kind of binding it, binding yep. it all together. It's that so final got, thing to keep everything. So you've got the sort of cheese glue and cloth 
fiberglass over the top. You've got this binding the edges together as well. You've got quite a combination of materials. You think a shield is just a basic lump of wood that stops you getting hurt, but in fact, it's quite a lot of engineering has gone into yeah, it. Yeah, it's the, the simple engineering that everyone takes for granted. Um, it's the uh, greater than the sum of its parts. It's exactly a you know, it's perfect description. And if it doesn't it work, yep. you've got problems. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it needs to be functional at the end of the day. Let us go and try this out because it's all very well theorising about it, carrying it around. Let's go and have a go and see what shields can or can't do. Sure, love to. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and don't forget that notification button. Uh, we've got a lot more exciting episodes coming up every Friday and look forward to seeing you then.